<clears throat> All right, welcome to the um, May, June 3rd meeting of the Asia Pacific Chaos Community Call. I just pasted uh, the minutes uh, and the notes for this meeting into the Slack chat. I want to also just take a minute here at the very beginning to ask our partners in the Asia Pacific region if they have specific questions or uh, things that they want to address in this meeting so that I can share that or make that part of our agenda. King, I know you've been quite active. Um, and Frank, do you have either of you have anything that you want to put on the agenda today? Uh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi, I'm King. Uh, I have one one slide to to share. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. So share to you and don't right. forget. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. So let me. Um, I believe I have to in this process make you a co-host. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I have. I can share it. Uh, Not use the host. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Well, I made you a co-host so that if you wish to, you can use uh, Zoom to share. Okay. I don't actually know how else you would, or, or I could, if you put it a link in, I, I can bring it up. Um, okay. I will well. share the slide. Okay. I will stop sharing the minutes. You should be able to, sh okay. should be able to share the slide. Yeah. This one, maybe, I think. Uh, you have started screen sharing? Yeah, I yes, started screen sharing. Yes. Yes. You see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So this is uh, uh, our uh, our open source project named Open Ola. Uh, you can find it on the Giti. Uh, okay. So uh, the Can you paste the, the, the Can you paste oh, sorry? the Giti, Can you paste the Giti link? For us, and I can include that in the minutes. Okay, let me show you. Oh, hey, th there's this is the. Okay. Yeah, copy and if you copy and paste that link in the chat, then I can make it part of the minutes. Okay. So I didn't want sorry to disrupt your proposal, but. I because think this that's... is the. Okay, this is the. Let me show you. Sorry. Okay, this is the. This is uh, Open Ola's uh, homepage. The blog is uh, in here, but it's in Chinese. That's uh, okay. I can, I can translate I it. I uh, we have actually put some budget aside for translation services, and yeah. um, some of that can be, um, I'm sure, applied to translating yeah, yeah. Um, this information. So it's this blog link that you posted in the chat that I should add. Okay, and if you have a link for the slides when you're done, that would be great. Uh, go ahead and continue with the slides. Sorry to okay. interrupt. Okay, that's okay, thank you. So <clears throat> this is the way how, what we think about the government, governor team to think about how to govern the uh, project, uh, how to govern the community. So this is uh, what does the open source community operate? So. You can see it. Uh, this is the open source project, yes. and this is the uh, open source community. And uh, we have four aspects. Uh, one is uh, uh, technical economic e e ecology. Uh, okay, this is uh, details of the technical de ecology. This is uh, user ecology because the user ecology can use the open source. Uh, okay, this is the partner ecology. So we want a partner ecology co built collaborative with us. Uh, to build the open source project. Right. This is a contributor ecology. So it includes uh, enterprise, individual con contributor, and the university uh, student, and other developers, blah, blah, blah. So this yes. is the image. So we, we divide it into four aspects. So this is the details to uh, explain it. So it's an open source community operate strategies. This is open all our strategy. So regards our open source project, rely on the community, several of the open uh, op op operations actually carried for 
uh, out for the users, contributors, uh, technology and uh, the partners. So this is for aspect. And uh, this is uh, our operations goals, uh, focus on the open source project, create a popular community that people are willing to use, contribute and actively promote. I think uh, this is a lot of the a lot of uh, open source projects, uh, the, uh, the, the, the same goals is here. And uh, <clears throat> okay, this is the uh, four, four aspects uh, in this picture. Uh, okay. This is, uh, is this, is this um, I would, uh, Hawaii is, is it, how do I pronounce the company name? Hawaii? Huawei. Huawei, Huawei. Yeah. Huawei. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, is, is, uh, is this something that, so this is this Huawei's uh, perspective, or is this the perspective that you are working to communicate in general about open source? So in other words, is this uh, a slide that you're using to explain open source and what it is inside Huawei, or is this a slide that you're also using to communicate how to how open source operates more broadly? I think is yeah, this is. Uh, okay, this is the way want to uh, show us how we op uh, in this project in open Ola project we how to uh, cooperate with our uh, partner and our customers. Yeah, not inside the Huawei. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. So this is first uh, slide. Uh, okay, this is <clears throat> that's that's picture you just uh, say in Chinese uh, picture. So this is a letter house. The base is uh, the project operations health data. Uh, all of this is uh, from uh, this is data we can uh, slag, uh, we can get gather and uh, we divide the last into four aspects like this: people's organizations, technology, and uh, the business. Uh, okay, this is the details. I, I have translated. I translated yes. it into English. You can no, see it. Thank this you. Is our, okay, this is our high level goals here. Is, yeah, so this is how we want to matrix the framework, the Open OLAS project, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, and uh, uh, we, we have two. Uh, and uh, we have two goals. We, we don't have to consider it very clear, clearly. So the, uh, one is the community's mandatory evolutions model. We want to okay. measure, yeah. And uh, the other is the project health assessment model. Yeah. We, we must, we will deeply, deeply to search how we can build this model for our for our project in open OLA community. And if that's a success, successful, we will share it to the chaos. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so do you have any suggestion for us? Yeah. So I think the from a community maturity evaluation model perspective and a community health model perspective, mm -hmm. how do you distinguish those two goals? I, they, uh, I think they are about communicating for different, to different audiences for different purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would, I would maybe guess that the community maturity evaluation model is one that would be used prior to a firm engaging with an open source project to determine if it's a worthwhile investment and the project health assessment model to be used more for ongoing assessment of projects you're already engaged in. Is that a fair, or is that is that what you mean by those two different models? Or am I, am I wrong in my guess? Yeah, so first uh, we want to project the health, uh, the assemble model to, to matrix our our project, we want to, to uh, uh, we want to, to use it to improve our project, uh, and uh, we, there is a vulnerabilities. We we not fix it. Uh, for example, uh, we want to improve it, and uh, this one, this this one is a project, you know, and uh, this yeah. one is a community's uh, operator operator. Uh, so <clears throat> I think it's, uh, <clears throat> we don't have the standard uh, uh, how the communities is the operators uh, very good. So we don't, we, we only have only 
only can do the matrix models to evaluate it, it, uh, it uh, the evaluate the community, community. So I think this is will be the uh, standard for us to measure the project. And uh, this is uh, maybe a model uh, about the maturity about the community. So as it's hard, we, we just uh, dis discuss it uh, for a long time uh, and uh, read a lot of uh, architecture. So mm -hmm. um, in, the, in, the, in the web, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some professor uh, read the, the uh, for example, the Netherlands guys write the uh, that, uh, uh, text. So uh, how to my metric is a software uh, model, so we must uh, to change change it to the open source community and uh, change it to the uh, project health, open source project health, and uh, so we want to find the principle, find the uh, find the principle to support our our model. Do do you get it? Yes. So I think let me let me explain it a, a different way. Make sure I understand. I think yeah. so. So Huawei has this open source project that they're trying to make improvements to, and so I think these are the two ways that they're going to measure whether or not they're successful. So the first one's more um, is the project, you know, becoming more becoming more mature over time, and how do they measure that? And so that's the maturity evaluation model, and then the second one is project health. So that's how are they improving the project as a whole and building community around it? And how do you measure success around that? Is that, is that right, King? Yeah, 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 okay. exactly, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Don. For <laughs> thank you, Don. Happy to thank help. You. Sorry? She's happy, to, she's happy, Don is happy <laughs> to help. And uh, her, her comprehension of what you were saying is much more clear than Mine, so. yeah, yes. It's what it's what community <laughs> managers do. We translate between people. That's excellent. We're, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. One thank one. You. So from a um, is is this to to my understanding is this thinking about a single open source project or are is it thinking about a, a set of open source projects? Sorry. Same. Is is this? Are you thinking? Just kind of asking a clarifying question of, from Don's question. Yeah. Are you evaluating a collection or group of open source projects, or are you principally concerned with one open source project? We want to principally one open source project. The the, the last one choice option. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Thank you. <laughs> One question I have and that comes from discussions in the different metric groups in the chaos community is one thing that we often have to do is account for the context of a particular project. In other mm -hmm. words, there is not a, so if you're working with one project, you will likely identify a set of metrics that are important for that project. When you think about other projects, there may be a different set of metrics that are yeah. of more central concern when evaluating health. And I'm, so I think for a, I don't see that specifically represented here. And so I wanted to ask about it and if it's important in a longer view. Yeah. I agree with you. It's it's a different project. Uh, we have different metrics. Uh, for example, the o o o OS project, uh, operating system project, a uh, lot of them are stable. Stable is, uh, and uh, for example, the other AI project uh, is very hot. So the community is a lot of people contribute in the AI project. I think it's uh, we, we have different standard and a different uh, uh, strategy to metric it. Yeah. Is is there an interest in um, some discussion about how we would translate some of the things or how we would map? Maybe is a better word 
some of the items in, under people, organization, technology, business, and operations, how those might be mapped to existing chaos metrics, or if existing chaos metrics do not exist, uh, proposed chaos metrics. Mm -hmm. So do you understand that? John, is yeah. that, am I asking that in a way that's useful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I get it, yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that is that something the chaos community is that something is it a dialogue or a conversation that that you would want to have as part of this call to to break down each of these discrete items and and see how they may map to chaos metrics? Yeah, well, after we we have some idea and uh, some metrics. Uh, we, we we stretch it is upstream upstream first, and the chaos community is our, uh, you know, the up upstream uh, community. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay, thank you. So, I will stop share the screen. Shall um. I? Yes, if if okay. possible, I think it would be helpful if these slides are shareable. Um, yeah, if, yeah. Uh, because then uh, we could we could start conversations in a working in working groups around um, the mapping of these metrics. And we I don't think Don we've created an Asia Pacific working group, and I don't know if that would be called for. But at least the task of helping to manage where some of the, helping to map where some of these things may go in the upstream of the chaos project might be useful. What, what does everyone think? Yeah, but I think we should probably do that in the regular working groups because the metric definitions aren't different for Asia. Like the, the right. definitions for yeah. the metrics should be right. the same. We just need to get them in the, into the chaos project, I think. Right. So through the through the existing working groups. Yeah. I okay. I, I agree. Should there be a I guess I'm just thinking like when I look at this slide, my first instinct is to take each discrete item and put it in a spreadsheet and try to map it to a chaos metric. <laughs> is is that possibly wrong? Okay. In other words, yeah, I'm I don't not, know. I'm trying to think about how to, I mean, I think sharing these slides within each working group might be useful and asking them each working group to consider the map might be uh, useful. Maybe, yeah, you, you can say it. Maybe the business is uh, uh, similar with the, our value work group and uh, how to people maybe in the common and mm -hmm. uh, evolution organization maybe in the evolution work group. Yes. I think, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And the evolution work group does meet on this channel today, right after this call, just for okay. everyone's information. Thank you very much, King. I don't Thank have other questions. Are there other questions from anyone else? No, uh, anyone else? Okay, so then I now stop sharing the yes my screen. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I will share my screen, and I can't yeah. remember if this is gonna allow me to do this. Um. So I wanted to just um share for the community. I suspect everyone is already aware of of the existence of this organization on github and when it comes to finding the working groups because there there are there are two i would say three types of repositories under chaos one kind is the kind related to software another kind is the kind related to just the internal workings of chaos itself like the website and introductory information. And the third, and I think most important type of repository is the working group repositories. And each of these is prefixed with the word WG dash. And so 
uh, when we want to, if you want to look at um, the, the set of repositories that exists inside of chaos um, that are part of the working groups where the metrics get defined. Um, I think this, the, this list may prove useful because sometimes I think it's difficult to navigate exactly where um, everything is. Does that make sense? Especially for newcomers. King, I'm sure you're already aware of this. Yeah. Um, but, uh, okay, what did I just do? Okay, all right, so this is, uh, uh, search for WG dash, and then it'll show you that list of working groups. So if you're looking for um, developed metrics um, that that or metrics that are in process um, that exists, and I think you're also already familiar with the metrics that we've released already. And so the difference. The difference is in the working groups, we are in a fairly steady, constant state of development. And uh, each six months or so, we release a set of new metrics. And these are the, this page is the one page where the released metrics um, exist. Um, and our, and that, uh, any any questions about that or anything anyone would like to add to that? Well, hi. Hi. Um, I've seen that you have some uh, discussions on the mailing list about the uh, metrics translation project. Yes. And um, well, I just want to say that I will be so honored to help with translating it into Chinese. Oh, that is that is a very generous offer. Um, what is so, while I'm sharing my screen, I can't actually see who's talking. Can you? Uh, it's Xiaoya. So Xiaoya, you, you'd better introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I'm Xiaoya. Uh, I'm a master. I'm a postgraduate student in East China Normal, uh, Eastern Normal China University. Oh, okay, yeah. Eastern Nor Normal China University actually has historically had a pretty strong partnership with the University of Missouri, <laughs> where really? I work. Yeah, one of my former PhD students is from there, Wan Li Zing, and he's now a professor at Texas Tech. So, <laughs> um, very small world. Um, and I guess, Jaya, is how you say your name? Yeah. Jaya, yeah. if, um, yeah. if you want to share contact information with me, um, or uh, you don't need to share it in the public document, but uh, I'll just say to share contact information, um, you can contact me at goggins at missouri.edu um, and just uh, put chaos translation in the subject that way or I will... uh if you wanted to it might be better to post it to the chaos mailing list oh yes. agreed agreed yes agreed yes uh, i'm thinking think of that... uh, sending a message on the mailing list after the um conference that is a much better suggestion Perfect. Than yeah, because that's where all of the conversations are happening about that's translation. Right. So that will get you automatically um, connected to the other people who are talking about doing translation. That's so have you guys uh, start a new channel for the translation? Um, because I haven't seen the um, new discussions uh, recently. Hmm. It should I've be. On, I thought they were on the main killing, uh, main chaos mailing list. But let um, me, I can check. It could be on the board mailing list because the way that the translation is being discussed is 
Matt German Prey and I have some grant funds that we are going to allocate to help pay for the cost of translation, um, whatever that may be. Uh, and of course, volunteer translators are, are even better. They help extend what we have. Um, Don, do you know, do you know where that discussion has been? I, I don't keep careful track of which list things are on myself. No, uh, I'm trying to look. No, it is. It is on the main mailing list. Um, so it's it started just on the. Yeah, just on the chaos, the main chaos mailing list. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, it, it started with a conversation from Nick Vidal, who started the um, started dis the discussion to talk about Portuguese translations. Yeah. Okay. Um, and. And that was, it looks like that discussion kicked off on the 25th of May. So a couple yes. of weeks ago. And I will yes, share. Just around last week. Yep. Yeah. Just in case anyone doesn't have it, this is our primary mailing list. Hey, can I just ask a question? Yeah. So, uh, my name is Tarun and I'm from India. I'm studying in Amrita University. I'm an undergraduate student. Uh, I, I am going through this uh, metrics translation project. Uh, are you guys trying to only convert the uh, metrics to international languages or to the other languages also? I, I think our first, I don't know, Don, do you have any insight on, I mean, of course, obviously we're not translating them to English. Um, do you have, do you have any precedence order? First, we have to convert into French, and then we have to convert into Chinese. Um, so I think the question is about conversion to both French and Chinese. Um, I think, Don, I don't, I don't, I haven't been following that this particular discussion. I don't know how closely you have. I I have not been following that discussion. Other than I know that there are people talking about translation. That's as far as I've gotten into it. I just posted the uh, um, the archive mailing list archive link. So if you if you click on that, you should be able to see the threads about translation, and you can see what what's been discussed so far. And then um, if you want to post the mailing list and add to that, that would be great. I agree. And I think to the to I think whoever asked the question about which languages I think I know that Asian languages like Chinese are important because uh, it, they are fundamentally different in their syntax and structure. I, I think any any translation to any language is probably ultimate. Any language where there is interest in chaos might be the ultimate goal, but that might be a very large goal. So some of our initial translation work is likely going to focus where there are people interested in having those translations. And uh, certainly Chinese is, Chinese and Portuguese I know have been discussed. I think somebody suggested oh. French as well. Am I right? I don't know if I'm losing connection. I, somebody started to talk. Don, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay. I thought somebody started to talk. But they may have a bad connection. It might have just been background noise. Uh, that could be it, too. Um, perhaps I will make a a note at least of the uh, uh yeah there has been some interest in french um in addition to portuguese french chinese and i i have a rudimentary understanding that there are multiple chinese dialects like a lot of chinese dialects so i'm uh trusting our partners in asia in China to know which dialect dialect or dialects would be the most useful for translation. Uh, you mean uh, I 
I'm sorry, whoever. Yeah, so yeah, we're having a hard time hearing you. I think there's a bad connection. Yeah. Um, well, we'll leave, I think, Chinese more broadly. And if King or Jaja, Jaya can um, suggest if there's more than one dialect uh, that translation should occur for um, to, you know, make that part of the notes or share it with the mailing list in the translation discussion. Okay. Okay, so, okay, I agree with Shia, yeah. I didn't hear, did you hear what Jaya said, um, King, beyond just that she's willing to help with Chinese translation? Okay, Xiaoya, you have anything to say? Oh, it's just that Okay, I think network, Xiaoya's network is not very good. I think it's, uh, yes. okay, some problem with it. Okay, um, I'll, why don't we follow up with her on the mailing list or them on the mailing list? Are there other comments or thoughts about translation? I have a suggestion regarding the language suggestion. Yes. Uh, can we add Deutsch? Uh, German. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I see I see the minister uh, George Link. <laughs> he want to translate it into German. I yes. see the minister. He said. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I, I learned a little bit of German in my uh, college. Okay. So I want to try it also. Um, and certainly, if 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 you. If there is a, a German speaker who wishes to do that trans or can help with that translation, that's always good. I think introduce, I don't know if that language has been introduced in the email discussion, but certainly um, do subscribe to the chaos mailing list and perhaps um, look at the archive that Don posted in the minutes here and um, get involved in the emailing list, in the mailing list discussion regarding language. Any other thoughts regarding translation before we press forward? Okay. I wanted to make a note that uh, the next metrics release is on August 1st. And so we back up the dates of that. Uh, because we have a review period. So we, the working groups intend to release new metrics for comments on June 24th of 2020. Um, um, and what that means is the working groups will decide uh, which metrics are ready for community discussion to be released. And although it may seem as though there is a short time between now and then, three weeks is a lot of time when it comes to releasing metrics because the deadlines often uh, force working groups to decide which metrics they are going to finish. And I think uh, through uh, perhaps opening an issue within a working group or through discussion on a mailing list, there is an opportunity to express a desire for certain metrics to be developed at the uh, in the working groups at this at this time. So I would encourage anyone uh, who wants to to uh, have a certain certain metric uh, considered and distributed with the release that's upcoming. Um, and, and then when something's released, the tools uh, typically work to make sure that those are already included in the tools set if they are not already. Um, so that I'm just pointing out that there is this release period coming up. So what, um, King, do you think it's useful for me to explain the release process in this session? 
Uh, okay. Uh, may I translate in Chinese? No. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. Go uh, ahead. Okay. 就是说，呃，他们下个下一个版本的那个 release 版本是在八月一号，然后他们会提前给一段时间让大家去评论，然后呢，可以你看他那时间写的很清楚，就是六月二十四号，呃，二零二零年。Twenty Twenty 那个，然后就是，然后它可以有一些公共的评论时间，然后我们可以去在上面去发表我们的一些建议啊什么的。这个，呃，呃，应该大家都都都能听懂吧？这个他写的还是很清楚的。有有问题可以可以问，啊。Any question? Okay, see, go ahead. Okay. Um. So I, Kingy, I just so the the, I don't know. Did you explain the whole cycle or, in Chinese? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the the, just for other people, uh, essentially the we release the metrics for review on June twenty fourth. There is an issue created in each working group repository, related to each candidate metric for release, and in that issue for each candidate metric. There is an opportunity to make a comment about what is included or not included in in the metric. In other words, that comment period is intended to reshape or redefine uh, candidate metrics for release uh, to be more clear and more closely aligned with the community's intent. And then they will be complete for release on July 24th. And produced for the website and PDF toward the end of July. Um, do, do, do you want that to take a minute to explain that in Chinese? Uh, I I think it's uh, I think everybody can understand, can understand it. Yeah. Good, good, uh, good. Let me ask. You men have any questions? He 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 wants to ask. If there are no questions, 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 Okay, um, and then I, I just want to point people to the participate link. That is where you can go to sign up for the mailing lists and uh, find the working group information that I highlighted earlier, uh, and specifically the information related to um, which working groups are working on which metrics. I think another useful uh, sub link in there. For understanding when the working groups meet, sometimes for me it's easier to just see the Google Calendar.、Um, so I will share the Google Calendar、uh, working group meeting times because then,、um, if you wish to, you can what you can if you hit this add to Google Calendar, you essentially can add the Chaos Calendar as one of the calendars and. I don't know. Is Google are Google calendars used in China, King? Yeah, I don't、uh, use the、uh, Google calendars. Sorry. Is so, there a is there a shared calendar for China that we should、uh, maintain a map of these meeting times on? Okay, I think words, okay. Is there a platform that we might consider、um, sort of mirroring? The chaos meeting times, too, that would be、uh, easier to access or more commonly used in China.、Mm. So I subscribe the mailing list and、uh, I、uh, go to this participate、uh, this website. I、uh, subscribe the, it into my mailing list、uh, in, in my email.、Uh, Uh, 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 I I can't use it、uh, this this Google Calendar, uh, because maybe、uh, I don't know other guys because my my company I use the、uh, I use the laptop is using,、uh, using our company, so also I can't use the Google Doc, you know, so、yes. I never saw my name on. Should I? <laughs> beginning, yeah. Would Would it be helpful if I exported the calendar into a standard format like a .ics file? Would you be able to then 
share the meeting time information uh, in a way that is accessible in China? Yes, I think it's a work. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna give myself an action item. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Stan. Uh, I'll share it to the mailing list, and that way, um, you, you, I assume you can access the mailing list because since we just talked about it. King. So, sorry. Um, uh, I, I will share the, the export of the Google Calendar to the mailing list. If, if you want me to share it directly with you, um, uh, you can just uh, maybe I don't know, share your email in the chat. Okay, I will session. show you. Okay, okay got it. Thank you. That way, you don't have to filter through everything on the mailing list if it's yeah. not perfect. Yeah. My email is in the. I got it. I yes. got it. Okay. Um, so I, I will email to you and the Don and the matches to uh, send to the slide. That's just a share. Uh, uh, I think if you just share the slide, if it's okay, if, if well, I guess, yes, email the slides to uh, to to me, since mm -hmm. Matt isn't here today, and I will then share them to, uh, is it okay, okay if I share them publicly on a Google presentation? Okay. King, is it is it allowed for me to share the slides that you share with me on yeah. Google? Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. okay. All right. So I will share that. I do you think though the one point though because I uh, didn't it say confidential at the bottom, it King, did. of your slides? If you could remove that confidential, the note uh, at the bottom that it's confidential because we can't post it if it says that it's Huawei confidential. Oh, that's oh I think. Uh, but if you uh, take better share it in open, uh, share it with open Ola, and uh, I, I think it's good. I, I think it's okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that you just okay that um, I'm sure. Him and uh, I'm just going to make a note that it is acceptable to share them with the notation of, I'm not going to spell Huawei right. Huawei, yeah. Uh, we, we have discussed in our, inside our company, we, we suggest, uh, we, we, uh, we want to share the slide to chaos community, to public. So Don, I answer your question, it's, it's okay. No problem. Uh, I think Don is, Don is right that it would be um, more, it would be, uh, people may be more comfortable sharing them if the confidential notation is removed, but if, if you send them to me with that notation, I will direct people to the minutes where you indicated that it was okay to share them with the chaos community. Yeah, it would just be nice if you could remove the word confidential from the bottom of the slides before you send them to us. That would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think, I think there is, there are Otherwise, many, people might be concerned that we're yes. sharing something that is confidential. Yes. I also, I, I believe the density of lawyers in the United <laughs> States and Europe uh, is oh. higher than it may be in China, <laughs> which is where the concern comes from. Mm -hmm. Are there, are there any other topics that anyone wants to raise? We like to end these minutes at 10 minutes prior to the top of the hour. We're about uh, three minutes away from that. If there's other other topics that anyone wishes to discuss, or should we say goodbye? King, do you think it's okay to say goodbye? I think. Uh, sorry, I will ask. Uh, okay. Ask uh, some guy. 大家还有问题吗？ <laughs> 
Okay. So don't. Uh, nobody have questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone, for participating in this discussion. Um, the meeting minutes uh, are available in the link that we shared. Um, I don't know if we have these doc. I may find a way to create a link, or you know what? I'll, I'll share. I will share this um, on the chaos. I will share a link to these minutes on the chaos mailing list as well. And that way everyone will have the link. Although uh, I should probably output them as a PDF as well, since you're not able to, um, or maybe a micro uh, open document format, since you're not able to read Google Docs um, in, in some, inside some companies. Um, it might be helpful to share, a, a share them in that format as well. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. Um, that concludes today's meeting of the Asia Pacific Working Group. I think it was a really great discussion. Thank you, King, for helping to facilitate. Thank you, Don, for keeping me on track. It was a pleasure. I <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, will talk to you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.